the racket hands loose in the hand. Step forward and you will see the racket begin to move at some point. This transfer of body weight creates the momentum that makes the racket move. We need to reinforce this momentum. Notice, at one point the racket begins to move. It's somewhere here. Right at this moment, we should start speeding up the racket by rotating the hip. When the body weight is transferred, we have to bend our knee into a U-shape. Down, forward, up. We should be at the bottom of the U-shape during the stroke and only on the follow-through get up. After hitting, we should not rock back to the back foot like this. It leads to lose balance. To maintain balance during recovery, we should use a replacement step. Where the back foot goes forward, the front foot goes back, it allows us to initiate the next split step from the front foot. We don't want to straighten our legs too quickly. We don't want to lean forward too soon, kind of falling on the front foot. We don't want our back foot to get stuck like this. It gets in the way of hip rotation. The hip rotation is the source of power. If you struggle with this, try this. On the finish, Tap your back foot like this. The same thing on the backhand. As soon as I feel the weight transfer begins, I rotate my hips. Step forward, heel to toy. Weight transfer begins, I feel it. I start to rotate my hips. On the sore, I load my back foot before I'm tossing. That's one of the fundamentals of the service technique. As I'm getting into the trophy position, I gradually transfer my weight from the back foot to the front. I kind of roll off the ground. I toss inside the court. It forces me to lean forward. As I'm leaning forward, I try to stay on the back foot as long as I can. It helps me to tie my weight transfer. Load the back foot before you are tossing. You can do it.